Today I'm going to teach you how to lock individual apps with a passcode on your iPhone. We will be using shortcuts to do this and once you set it up, this shortcut will ask for a passcode before you open any app and if the wrong passcode is entered, it'll take a photo of the intruder and lock your iPhone. Before we start, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. Now without any further delay, let's dive in. Some of you might find shortcuts a little overwhelming. But trust me, if you use it properly, it's a very powerful tool and you can accomplish a lot. Just follow along with what I'm doing and you won't have any issues. Open shortcuts and make sure you're on the first tab which says uh, shortcuts in the bottom. Now click on the plus button where it says new shortcut right on top. Tap on the down arrow and let's rename this. Let's rename it to Instagram. For this example, I'm going to lock Instagram and show you how it works. Now once you've uh, renamed it, click on add action and in the search bar type ask. Now the first option under scripting, it is showing ask for input. So click on that. Now passcodes are number based. You can also have it text based if you want, but I prefer numbers. So let's change ask for text to number. What would the prompt be? Like when you tap on the app, it will ask you passcode question mark. You can type whatever you want, but I'm going to put in passcode. Now you can see it gives you suggestions below. So just click on if. Now where it says condition, tap on that and select is. And the number is going to be the passcode that you want to set over here. So I'll just set it to 3333. Then click on done. And in the bottom search bar, search for open app. Now the second option, which is under scripting, click on that. Now you can see that it's been added over here. So just drag it under the if option because this shortcut is going to work on steps and you need to place it in the right order. Now tap on app and select the app that you want to lock. I'm showing this example to you with Instagram. So I'm selecting Instagram and now you can see that the logo on top has also automatically changed as per the app. Now we need to set up what happens if the wrong passcode is entered. Tap on the search bar again and search for take photo. Click on that. Again, you need to drag it under otherwise. And here you need to change with back camera to front camera and there's an arrow next to camera tap on that and make sure that you remove show camera preview. Then click on search for apps section again and type in save. Now under media it says save to photo album select that and again move it under otherwise. Now from here you can select where you want to save the photo. If you want to save it to a particular album, you can create that album in your gallery and you can select it from here by tapping on recent. I'm just going to leave it to recent. Again tap on the search bar and search for lock screen. Now under scripting, select the first option lock screen and once again drag it up under otherwise. You've successfully set up your shortcut over here. Just click on done. Your shortcut will show up right in the beginning. Tap on the three dots and now we're going to add it to your home screen. So tap on the share button, scroll up and click on add to home screen. Now from here, you need to select the Instagram logo. You can download Instagram's logo from Google. Just search for Instagram logo and the first option that pops up, you can click on it and save it to your photos. Once you do that, just click on the photos option and choose a photo and choose uh, Instagram, then click choose and then click on add. And now it's added Instagram to your home screen. If you already had Instagram on your home screen, like you can see, I have it on my first page. I'm just going to long press on it, click on remove app and remove from home screen. And I'm going to replace it with the Instagram shortcut that we just made. And I'm going to place it right over here and click on done. Now, whenever I click on Instagram, it's going to ask for a passcode like you can see over here. If I enter the correct passcode, which is 3333, it's going to open up the Instagram app, no problem. But let's see what happens if you enter the wrong passcode. So tap on Instagram again, one, two, three, four. This is the wrong passcode, of course. And now I'm going to click on done. So it says taking a photo and it's just locked the screen. Now, once you unlock the phone, you can actually go and see if it took a picture of the intruder. So let's do that. Let's go into photos and you can see right there, it's taken a picture of the intruder, which is me, of course, in this case. Of course, this is not a 100% secure method, but it does do the job to an extent. If your iPhone locks and the intruder asks you to unlock it again, you can quickly go to the photos app and see if it's taken a picture. If there is a picture, it means that they've been snooping on your phone and you can decide not to share your device with them again. I hope this video was helpful and I taught you something new. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and see you in the next one.